saying boom a lot. Maybe I'm trying to stop saying dude. All right, dude, let's go to the actual edit mode of Mr. Invisible Button here. So all I'm gonna do is simply double click on the green box. And for an invisible button, we don't need an up, over, or down. The only thing we need is the hit frame, okay? And that's just saying that it's the active area of the button. So we'll click and drag this over, okay? Let's go back to a drop menu. And voila, look at that. Dude, we did not do any kind of color like that. But what Flash is doing, it made this kind of aqua blue, cool, ice blue kind of thingy that's kind of translucent. Um, just to let you know, this is an invisible button. It's not going to show up to the end user. Um, and the only time you actually see it, it's when you're in edit mode in your FLA. All right. So I'm going to select this. Come over here. Let's give it an instance name. Everyone has to have a name so you can talk to them, or at least so action script can talk to them. So I'm just going to do I N B S underscore B T N. All right. Now that's done. Let's lock this layer, keep ourselves out of trouble. We are now going to create a new layer. All right. This is going to be our actions layer. Okay. And I'm going to come up here to my trusty actions. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to write out a command and stop my playhead. So I'm simply going to do stop. All right. And the next thing I want to do, I'm going to create a function. All right. So let's do function. All right. And we're going to call this function open menu. All right. Well, what kind of function is it? It's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be an event. It's an awesome event. Actually, more specifically, little colon there. Let's do a mouse event. So if you notice, as soon as I start typing, I can come down here and just double click on mouse event. Okay. Close our parentheses and let's do a little colon right there. Whoops. Colon. Thank you. And we'll do void and open and close brackets. Now I like to do my opening and closing brackets at the same time. That way I don't forget something. All right, let's go back and talk about everything we just did. First and foremost, tell the playheads to stop. Okay. Cause flash automatically loops it automatically plays with no problem. The next thing we're saying, we're going to make a function and we're going to call that function open menu. It's an event. Actually it's a mouse event. All right. Listen up. What do we want that event to do? Or what do you want this function to do? We're going to simply type in a command that says next frame. That's all. No biggie. And let's do our little semicolon there. All right. So we've got that set. And let's go to our next little thing. Because we've created a function, but no one's doing anything with this function. So who do you want to talk to? We're going to talk to Mr. Menu 01 button. So it's menu 01 underscore BTN. Now this is where the underscore BTNs come in, or if you're doing a movie clip, the underscore MC would come in handy. All I'm going to do now is do a little dot. Okay. And all this information pops up. All right. If I did not do that, let's just do menu 01 dot. Um, there's no menu there. If you notice, there's nothing there to help you. So that's why we like to do the underscore BTN dot. Okay. Add event listener is what I want to do. Uh, what event are you listening for? Uh, I'm actually listening for a mouse event. Okay. What mouse event? Ah, by the way, be careful. Make sure you're typing out everything correct. If you notice, this is actually in black and it shouldn't be. Let's see. Let's make this a lowercase O. There you go. All right. What kind of event is this uh, dot? I'm just going to do. It's going to be a roll, not out. Let's go one down over. Okay. And we're going to do a 
comma. And what we're saying here is, all right, menu 01 button. I want you to listen out for something. Okay. Listening for a mouse event. If somebody rolls over you, then I want you to do something. What do we want it to do? This is where we write in our little function. So we're going to write in open menu. That's what we want it to do. Close our parentheses and a little semicolon on the end. And let's go ahead and test this out. Command return control enter on PC. So now if I roll over this, Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, but there's, it's not doing anything else. Well, we haven't told it to do anything else yet, but if you've gotten this far, you're doing good. All right, now let's do the easy part. If you notice from my typing speed, my incredibly fast typing speed, I do a lot of copying and pasting because I uh, never actually learned to type. So what I'm going to do is come down here to my timeline, hold on my option key, Alt on PC, click and drag over my actions. So I have duplicated the exact same thing in frame two. Okay, so now up here, doesn't look like anything happened, but I am working on frame two now. So yes, I want it to stop. Yes, I want a function, but I'm not gonna make this open menu. I'm gonna do a uh, close menu. Okay, and instead of next frame, I'm gonna type in P-R-E-V for previous frame. Okay, and instead of talking to the menu 01 button, I want to talk to Mr. Invisible button, I-N-V-S. If you remember all the instance names we did earlier. Okay, so we're going to add an event listener. Yes, it's a mouse event. Yes, if I roll over Mr. Invisible button, then I want it to open menu. Mm, not exactly. What we want this one to be is close menu. Okay, so now if I test this out, command return. All right, so I'm going to roll over this. This is good. And if I roll into this area where it's the invisible button is, boom, we are back to frame one, frame two, frame one, frame two, frame one. Okay. So you're rolling off of this and it's like, okay, that's cool. So you can actually click on any of these. And then when you're done, of course, uh, just roll off. All right. Hope this has been helpful. This has been a pretty cool little tutorial. Hope I didn't get too confusing there. If you really enjoyed this, please uh, tell your friends, tell your family. Um, shoot out like a tweet. If you dig it, go ahead and dig it, dude. It's cool. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.